hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today has been an annoying day to say the least it how did this day start well this day started where i thought today was going to be like a pretty productive work day i thought that i was going to get up i was going to like post my video that i had filmed the night before do a like just do a lot of things for my like youtube my instagram just a lot of content creation today and i woke up after filming this video that i was like really 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 proud of it took me quite a few hours to do this video and I went to go post it and YouTube was like absolutely not you're not allowed to post that this there has there's copyrighted content in this video fair that's totally fine I um I basically I did a video reacting to five minute crafts uh, the five minute crafts videos and one of the reasons that I did that was because number one I think that those videos were so funny and I was like this will be hilarious to just watch these videos film my reaction and, and whatnot. And I thought that it would be fine because so many other YouTubers had already done that. So why would it be a problem for me to do it? Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Five Minute Crafts is not a fan of um, everyone making videos. <laughs> <laughs> making fun of their videos. So basically I couldn't post that video. I was very, very disappointed because obviously I worked, I worked very hard on that video and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show people. I obviously wanted to show something that I had created. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed this morning and it kind of derailed my plans, but not to fear. We love working on the fly. We're gonna, we're gonna just change it up. So today I decided that I am going to do, I'm gonna have my first attempt at vlogging. I don't know how this is gonna go, but basically Josh and I have some running around to do. We need to do a little bit of grocery shopping. I would like to um, probably do a little retail therapy in any drugstore beauty section right about now. Yeah, I'm gonna take you along for the ride. I am, today is the day the universe said no reaction video, vlogging it is. So I'm gonna take you along to the stores and uh, follow me through my day and we will see how that goes This is the aisle. The colors are so TikTok. You just completely like. This has been empty for like. What, two, three weeks at this point? Okay. This is ridiculous. Everything. TikTok really has a way of just like. Literally killing everything. Okay. Not killing. Oh my god. No. TikTok just blows everything up. I know. What a bad thing. Like, you can look at the shelves and guess what has blown up on TikTok recently. Guys, we are doing pretty well so far. I'm very excited to show you these things. I just saw somebody, like, go elbow deep into the Brussels sprouts, and now I don't want them. I didn't understand. Oh my god. I just made eye contact with the guy. I can't have Brussels sprouts now. Guys, look at how cute all of these like ceramic tumblers and mugs are. Loblaws, like go off. Okay guys, okay. So this Boom Chicka Pop is like OG YouTube, but then I come over here look at this they have boom chicka pop real butter popcorn white cheddar they've always had the sea salt but i did not know that white cheddar existed and maybe it did in other places but not in canada and basically i'm gonna get it and try it out maybe we'll do a little taste test on camera because this looks delicious Everything. Uh, hi. Oh, hi, Ella. Hi, Ella. <laughs> what are you doing? Silly boy. I am back 
from my very first vlog excursion and I got some nice goodies to share with you guys. I will say vlogging in public is um a little nerve wracking, so good on any vloggers that just like do this all the time. But it was definitely fun. I don't know, I haven't looked at the footage yet that we got because we, we just got back and I just sat down to do this. So who knows? Who knows what it's gonna look like? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's gonna look like, what it's gonna be like. So hopefully, hopefully it's decent. I don't think that there's too much. Honestly, because obviously like we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So like I don't want to be holding anybody up because I'm filming in a grocery store or a drugstore. And I also want to preface that Josh and I, we go out to the grocery store probably about like once, once a week at the most. So this was like our essential week trip and our grocery stores and drugstores that we had to go to have all of these things so there was something that we like we went out of the way to get this is what we normally do and i just wanted to clarify that so no one thinks that we're just like going out for no reason i got some pretty awesome finds when i was at the drugstore i was looking for things that were on sale and things that were new which let's get let's get through the boring stuff first so i need to pick up some pick up some conditioner and I have been liking John Frieda recently. So I got the Frizz Ease Miraculous Recovery Conditioner. I don't know if it'll be good, but we will try it. I also got um, another NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I love this concealer and I just have run out of it. And so I needed to get that as well. So I needed to pick up a brown and a black pencil eyeliner. So I got these two from Essence, which I've had before. They're great. Essence is like super cheap and yeah got those as well. Something that I was super, super, super excited about was I saw this palette. Normally they do not have, I, I, I mean, I don't think they do, but I've never seen like extensive palettes or like face palettes at the drugstore. And I came across this one and was very interested. I've been wanting to try a, some drugstore blush and bronzer. I found this Physician's Formula Butter Collection palette and it's got six pans. Oh my God. And it was on sale for $20. I was so shocked. Anyway, so it's got the classic like butter bronzer. It's got their other like sunset bronzer, which has got a little bit of like a, a sheen to it, which I'm, I kind of like. Then they've got like a two blushes and two highlighters. And I'm just very, very excited to try this. And again, maybe I will do like a whole review on this at some point, but this is very, very nice. Those are things that I got that I saw on TikTok. And I'm very, very happy about these because no, as you will see in my, in the rest of my footage, you can tell in the drugstore what TikTok is blown up. You can absolutely tell because there's just like gaping holes in parts of the beauty section. So one of them was the Physician's Formula Diamond Plumper. And I got the one that's like in this like clear color. It's a little, I got a little bit of like a shimmer to it, but it's a plumping lip gloss and we love, a plumping lip gloss here. So I got that. And then I also got the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which I've heard is supposed to be a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Balm lip gloss, I think. Anyways, I got that in Reef, the color Reef. And again, I'm very, very excited to try this. There could be a lot of reviews in our future. Okay, that was all of the beauty things. Now, Josh and I picked up some things that I wanna talk about. So I know that like sparkling soda has been like on the rise for, I don't know, like the past year. I feel like it's been like, everybody has been super, like LaCroix, like ever. there's so many different brands. Oh, look, we're matching today. There's so many different brands and people and companies coming out with sparkling soda. So we saw this one by PC, President's Choice, and it's pop flavored, like soda flavored. Like it's not just like a, like a fruit flavor, like a soda flavor. So we were like, okay, let's try this. I don't know that I have high hopes for this to be totally honest because I don't really like sparkling soda on its own to begin with, but I figured we would try it. So we got the vanilla cherry one because we figured it would taste like vanilla cherry Coke. We could also be very wrong. So cheers. Oh, that smells like vanilla cherry Coke. No, I don't, I am not a fan. I'm a very big fan. It's like, it tastes like a, like a diluted, like, like cherry Coke. Yeah, it tastes like if you were like at a fast food restaurant and the, the they were running fountain out pot of... ran out of the syrup. Exactly. Or... Another thing that we saw. So Tostitos has been coming out with a bunch of flavors and we finally got our hands on the spicy queso. I've heard very good things about this. Would you like to try this as well? I would. Cheers. Yes. I think I was expecting more flavor. Well, it is a hint. 
Oh yeah, I guess it is hint. But I don't even really taste the queso. It's good. It's like artificial cheesy. I guess. I mean, like I can taste it. I just don't know that it's. Well, today's been a day. We're <laughs> we're back. The camera died. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure. I just want to film a video. We'll get back on track, everything will be fine. So where I left off was I really, really like PC brand things. I think that PC has, it's sort of like I don't know, when you get Trader Joe's brand things, like they, there's just something about them. Two things that I absolutely love from the PC brand are their roasted garlic and herb quinoa. The, this is so good. Josh and I made, used this once when we made stuffed peppers and instead of using rice, we used this quinoa. And let me tell you, chef's kiss. And another one that's really good is the PC risotto. Now I love a homemade risotto, I really do. I love a good homemade risotto, like from scratch. But I will say the fact that there's a risotto that you can make as quickly as making like a mac and cheese from a box and it tastes so, so, so good. Mm, don't sleep on this, this is real good. And if you are able to get your hands on this, try it. I like the mushroom risotto. They also have a four cheese risotto. I haven't tried that one, but this one so far is doing me real well and I really like it. Okay, the last thing that I have from our little like, the last thing I wanted to show you from our little grocery haul were these two bags of Boom Chicka Pop. Boom Chicka Pop, this specific one, that like the purple one reminds me of like the early days of like YouTube and beauty gurus and like all of my favorite YouTubers. They all used to eat this and I was like oh my god like I don't know that it I don't not sure if it was in Canada yet when I was that young but over the past few years I've started seeing it in grocery stores and I've started getting the purple one because I, I absolutely love this one however today I discovered that there was another flavor that I didn't know they had and it's white cheddar white cheddar popcorn oh such a staple so 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 so, so good and I now I'm gonna Try it. Do you want to try it too, Josh? Oh, I ripped the bag. Oh, it's okay. No. I hope it's good. Okay. Oh, mm. that's still. No, it's good. It is a little. I like it. Oh no, I do like it. Try another one. The first one, I agreed. The first time, the first putting it in my mouth the first time, I was like, oh, this tastes a little different. No, no, no. I do like this. It is good. It's really great. It's whole grain, real, simple ingredients, nothing fake. Uh, yeah, this was this was a good purchase. That is it for my first ever vlog, my little grocery haul, and my video that came of a really poopy day. This morning did not start off so nicely, and I'm really, really, really happy that I was able to turn the day around and still create some content that I feel good about, even though I was disappointed, of course, that like I couldn't that I couldn't publish the video that I really wanted to publish. But it is what it is, and we're staying positive and we're moving forward, and now I have some fun snacks and some new makeup and it's gonna be a great day. Thank you guys so much for always watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what? Turn on my post notification and then you'll know whenever I post and um, follow me on Instagram so that you can know when disasters like today happen because today I, I well, I usually post on my Instagram saying a new video is going up and then today I posted a new video is going up and then about 30 minutes later I was like actually it's not <laughs> so you'll be up to date on all of those notifications and um I guess that is it for today's video I already said so thank you so much for watching so I guess it's just uh until next time